Hey, in this week's video, we're going to be reviewing a quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's. A beef patty weighing approximately one quarter pound prior to being cooked. Cheese, pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard sandwiched between two toasted buns. The quarter pounder with cheese is, today, a signature offering from McDonald's. This was not always the case. The Quarter Pounder with Cheese was first introduced by Al Bernardin at the franchise locations he owned around Fremont, California in 1971. He would later explain that he introduced the item because he felt there was a lack of options on the menu for an adult that wanted a burger with a higher meat-to-bun ratio. Previous to this, McDonald's had only served hamburgers with the much smaller 1.6 ounce beef patties, with this being the weight prior to being cooked. He seemed to be confident this new menu item would catch on because it was marketed with the slogan, Today Fremont, Tomorrow the World. And a short two years later, this proved to be correct. The Quarter Pounder with Cheese was introduced to the National American McDonald's menu in 1973. The Quarter Pounder with Cheese is available at McDonald's locations around the world. However, it usually goes by a different name. You see, the pound or in this case, the quarter pound, is not a common unit of measurement elsewhere in the world. It belongs to the English measuring system, whereas most of the rest of the world is on the metric system. In fact, only two other countries have failed to adopt the SI system of measurement besides the US, with those two countries being Liberia and Burma. Due to this reason, people in most other parts of the world would have difficulty in even recognizing what a quarter pound hamburger was supposed to be. This was brought up as part of an excellent exchange of dialogue written by Quentin Tarantino for his movie Pulp Fiction, as shown in the following clips. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh man, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the f quarter pounder is. What do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. What do they call a Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. A Le Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call a Whopper? I don't know. I didn't go on a burger too. I do love the taste of a good burger. Mmm. You know what they call a quarter pound of a cheese in France? No. Tell them, Vincent. Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Uh, because of the metric system? Check out the big brain on bread. You're a smart mother That's right. The metric system. Innovation of the quarter pounder with cheese did not stop in the 1970s. The sandwich has undergone numerous changes in recent years. In 2015, the beef patty increased from a size of 4 ounces before cooking to a size of 4.25 ounces before cooking. And again in 2018, McDonald's made a move to improve the quality of the hamburger by switching to using fresh, never frozen beef. It is claimed that this creates less dried out, juicier, and tastier burgers. And that's something we can put to the test today. So here we are continuing on with our actual taste and uh, visual review of the Quarter Pounder with Cheese from McDonald's. Um, first off, let's just start with the packaging. Um, we can see that this is a, uh, a brown uh, cardboard container, um, good for keeping the sandwich from becoming squished in the bag on top of other items. Um, you know, it's interesting to note that McDonald's has actually switched back and forth a few times between uh, using the cheaper uh, brown um, cardboard containers and paper products and using a more bleached higher grade paper product that is uh, completely white. Um, the last time they did that it the wider packaging and branding showed to consumers uh, perhaps what they were eating was more healthy more and less impure um, with poor quality ingredients by having that white packaging. Now they've since gone back to a brown packaging which does allow them to uh, point out they're being more environmentally friendly um, because this is in fact a, a less environmentally harmful uh, packaging product to produce so um, and you can see over here they're you know advertising prominently the fact that they are 
uh, now using fresh beef um, cooked to order, you know, in, in this product. So, you know, whereas before it was a frozen hamburger patty, um, now it's, it's fresh, just merely refrigerated uh, beef. Um, so, uh, and beyond that, you'll, you'll notice this napkin here, um, which they gave out, uh, says introducing the new quarter pounder uh, burgers, um, so hot and juicy, you'll need a bigger napkin. Um, and again, advertising the fresh beef uh, cooked when you order. So, and this is in fact a much, much larger napkin than you would typically receive um, from McDonald's. So, a little bit of a gimmick there, but, you know. Again, they're doing everything they can because they're spending more money on having this beef be fresh. You know, they want consumers to certainly know that, you know, they should expect an increase in quality. So, here is the, the sandwich itself. Um, we can see a uh, sesame seed bun on the top. Uh, and uh, let's see, let's put this packaging over here and I'll just have it on the napkin. And if I open it up, you see we've got uh, mustard, ketchup, um, some onions, uh, not thinly chopped and diced like you might see on the hamburger, but these are actually, if I can show you, uh, larger strips of onion, um, thin, thinly sliced but not uh, chopped or diced um, as much as the hamburger onions. Um, you can see, uh, I think we've got about three pickles on the top of this and a slice of cheese. And then you'll notice if I take it off from the bottom bun, we've got a second slice of cheese uh, down here. So you actually get two slices of cheese with a quarter pounder with cheese. Really, I mean, it's part of the name of the product. Um, and so they really, you know, they don't uh, jip you on any of the cheese. So, and now just looking at the hamburger patty itself, um, I think you could see there's a, what looks to be a good sear on the outside of this. Um, and especially along the edges, um, you can see it's, uh, you know, that that indication of that sear means perhaps it has kept more of the juices inside and it would be easier to accomplish that sort of sear on a hamburger that was not frozen when it was applied to the grill. So, you know, that, that's a good sign. Um, and again, you, you can see the bun itself. Uh, you can see that this has been toasted. Um, and, uh, you know, I got this uh, quarter pounder with cheese. Uh, I bought several, but you know, they came into a price of about a little under two dollars and fifty cents. I used uh, the McDonald's app on my iPhone to purchase it, and I used a deal that they were offering to buy uh, one, and you get one for twenty-five cents with the purchase of another. So um, the, the the price was not bad on these, and uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. Yeah, oh yeah, <clears throat> that, that's very good. Um, one thing I've got a habit of doing is, uh, after taking my first bite of any quarter pound product uh, from McDonald's, is checking to be sure the interior of the burger is in fact well cooked um, and it is not red or pink because uh, what is something very easy um, for a cook at McDonald's to do is to not change the setting on the grill when they're cooking a batch of quarter pound hamburgers and to still use the 1.6 ounce hamburger setting on the grill and at that point they will not notice necessarily uh, that they have made that mistake as they're preparing the burger with the patty that's undercooked because the outside will still appear perfectly cooked. But the inside, after you take a bite, will be very red and very undercooked and raw. So, and I've had that happen to me once before. So, you know, it really only has to happen to you maybe one time and then you start to, you, you just check after the first bite. It, <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you, you really appreciate the, the two slices of cheese they give you on this because it really improves the overall texture and mouthfeel of the burger, um, as well as adding um, 
a good bit of flavor. And, uh, you know, I will note that I think the, uh, the pickles, uh, are, are certainly a, uh, very large flavor component to this burger. Um, you know, the, the pickles, uh, are very, uh, are very strong in flavor and they can take over the taste of any item you're eating. Um, but in this case, that's, that, that's still true. It's, uh, you, you know, and I, I might even consider, uh, getting this without the pickles, um, but... You know, I, I want to stay true to the uh, classic um, representation and intent of this burger and get it with all the ingredients that it was uh, supposed to come with. You know, I find more satisfaction in eating a classic sandwich like this as it was intended to be eaten, more so than perhaps a flavor profile I would slightly prefer. Um, just tasting the other ingredients more so than the pickles. Um, but, you know, with that said, it's it's still a, it's a very good, very good sandwich. Um, You know, and the, the pickle off offers a a nice crunch um, along with the onions. So that's a good uh, little little texture um, difference as you're eating the burger. It's uh, certainly juicier. I mean, it's been a long time since I've had a quarter pounder with cheese that was made with uh, a frozen patty. But but I will say that, you know, it, it, it seems to taste juicier for me. And I remember back when they first made the swap, and the quarter pounders with cheese I ate, you know, soon off the back of eating some that had been frozen, you know, I noticed the difference even more so. And, and I can really taste the, the, the sear on the outside, you know, just creates a good, you can taste that seared flavor. Um, and I think that is what's holding in the juices. And, you know, it's well seasoned. You know, I think it actually tastes almost saltier than what I'm used to. Um, I don't know, perhaps they just salted this one a little more, or you know, that they're just uh, seasoning these fresh patties a little more than they had the uh, the frozen ones, but yeah. <clears throat> and I'll actually use the, the, the bigger napkin. Um, they, they said that I would need a bigger napkin. Well, it, it looks like they were right. So, <clears throat> all right, so I, I think that about does it for the review of this uh, fresh beef quarter pounder with cheese. And now we'll go on to the next step of this video, which is to freeze and preserve uh, the additional quarter pounders with cheese that were bought on the same date and uh, to keep them frozen and preserved until uh, years from now when they are to be reviewed again to see how hell, how well they held up being frozen. So, <clears throat> we'll first uh, take this one. And we're going to go through uh, many, many different measures of uh, trying to keep this uh, quarter pounder with cheese um, edible while it stays in the freezer. So, you know, we, we got to package it very airtight um, with multiple layers because it's going to be in the freezer for a long time and we want to try and prevent it from getting freezer burn or drying out. So I'm going to start with a layer of uh, plastic wrap. Try and get this as tight as I can without actually squishing the bun up. Right. Now I'm going to do a layer of uh, aluminum foil. Again, trying to compress this as well as I can without um, overly squishing our, our hamburger here, cheeseburger. Um, 
Now I'm actually gonna do an additional layer of plastic wrap, followed by another layer of aluminum foil. Now the last layer of aluminum foil around the sandwich itself. All right, so this should be a uh, well prepared to handle um, a long time in a freezer. Uh, we will not actually. Uh, Put it into the uh, container in which it was bought. Um, I'm gonna clean up some of this uh, remaining food that's been uh, left on the inside of this. Uh. <clears throat> All right. So, and we will put it into a Ziploc bag. Actually, at this step. Try and get as much air as I can out of this Ziploc bag before I close it up. All right, pretty airtight. Now we'll put it into the box that it was purchased in and close the box. And we're fortunate that they designed these box to hold uh, burgers much bigger than the size that they are because um, it still fits with all that packaging. Um, so what I'm going to do now is wrap this box in yet another layer of plastic wrap and then aluminum foil. And now, the final step. This will be placed into a gallon-sized Ziploc bag. With again, uh, the contents, a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese, and today's date, February 21st, 2019. And uh, the amount of time that should pass before this is open and retested in another food review, which is one year. Again, try and get as much air as possible out of this. All right, now this will uh, shortly go into a deep freezer um, that will be, again, as I've said before, uh, monitored uh, with uh, temperature alarms and measurements and kept at a temperature of at least zero degrees Fahrenheit or lower um, continuously until the date. Uh, of one year, where it is to be reviewed again. <clears throat>
And now we have uh, three more sandwiches to complete this process with.
there again. A gallon Ziploc bag uh, with the contents a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese and today's date February 21st 2019 and the amount of time until this will next be reviewed um, in a food review video five years.
here is another gallon size freezer bag with the contents written down a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese and today's date February 21st 2019 and the amount of time it is to be frozen 10 years Now for the last uh, sandwich we'll be freezing tonight.
And now uh, this, another gallon size freezer bag with the contents, a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese. And today's date, February 21st, 2019. And the amount of years this quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's is to be frozen, 30 years. And it will be reviewed again. All right, well, um, it'll be really interesting to see how these quarter pounders with cheese uh, will hold up after one year, five years, 10 years, and 30 years. Um, particularly ironic of this uh, practice is the fact that McDonald's has released these burgers uh, with fresh, never frozen beef, yet here we are freezing them to see how they hold up after having been cooked. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see if perhaps they taste maybe more similar to the burgers tasted uh, back before when they were frozen, um, before being cooked by McDonald's. Um, maybe it'll be, uh, you know, a flashback to, you know, how, how they used to taste uh, when they were a little less juicy and perhaps lower quality, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how they hold up after uh, all these years in the freezer. So, again, thanks for watching.